Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Tara Gay Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are well. Today is um Saturday and I was telling you about my Thursday and Friday. So I think what I'm gonna might be do, might be, maybe do is come and do a am I looking in the right place? Is come and do a um is this the right way? Um a daily vlog. I'm not sure or like on days when I have certain things happen to me then I will come and tell you guys about it so today was an interesting day it was Saturday and like I had told you guys before I wasn't totally prepared and I actually was okay um, food wise this morning I was okay I bought like a bag of popcorners with me to work and two bottles of water I drank one bottle of water and um, I actually didn't eat the whole shift I was so this is where some of the problems came in so the boyfriend is going to get the Super Bowl food except I'm supposed to make why do I keep getting dark um, I'm supposed to make a dip so I'm making buffalo chicken dip which is like the first time I'm making it so I went to the supermarket and bought that because I really need to buy a lot of groceries because I bought a lot of groceries last weekend to kind of bring me into the month so I don't really need groceries like that so I went and got the stuff for the buffalo chicken dip and I had only spent like $28 or something so I, I had decided because I you guys know that I give myself or I don't know if you know I give myself $20 miscellaneous money every week because I know who I am like I don't want to feel super deprived in no spend month I want to give myself a little bit of leeway and I knew going into this that where I work there was going to be really good sales on certain things which is another part of my problem today because I went to work today so I, I was in charge of alcohol so he was buying the pizza and the wings and I was making the dip and buying the alcohol let me tell y'all that I went to the first store to buy because he doesn't like like he's not gonna drink wine because it was up to me I would just drink some wine okay that would be fine and I would drink some eight nine ten dollar bottle of wine and I would be okay but no nah, he doesn't like wine it doesn't agree with him he likes like Jack Daniels so I go to like local liquor store after I left the supermarket and the Jack Daniels, like this regular size of bottle is like $39.99. And I'm like, um, no, I'm not paying $39.99 for this bottle. Of it was outside of my $30 extra spending that I had. Because I was like, no, y'all, I drove 20 minutes outside of my way for me to go to another alcoholic store that I knew, a liquor store that I knew had it cheaper. And when I got there... It was. It was like $25. Like, this is a big old difference. $25, $26. Man, saving money will have you all out of your way. So, yeah, I did that, and I was able to stay, stay in budget. Woo-hoo. Now, let's talk about struggles at work. So, at work, my coworker tells me, oh, we're having... And when I tell you these are good deals, they're, like, really, really good deals. For example, there are there are about 12 deals and I personally only want three of them and I will spend my extra little $20 for it. So there's one deal where there's like an $80, it's either an $80 or $90 blazer in this beautiful blush pink color. It, we can get it for $35 only this month like it ends on the 28th or 27th only in february listen here i will have to pull my little dollars and get that blazer it it's absolutely has to be done and i it, and i know it's not a whim thing because every time i go into work i try it on like i try it on and they laugh at me every time i go in i try on a different size like oh does this one good every time i've been to work i try that tag uh tag on blazer on because I love it that much like I need that blazer in my life so I'm definitely not gonna let the $35 pass me by then there's a thing with like we have seriously sexy bra and panty sets the seriously sexy bra is $52 and 50 cents and the serious sexy panties can range like anywhere from 11 to 18 dollars on today on February only probably because of Valentine's Day 
you can get both items for $25. It's a bra and a panty. First of all, I need a new bra because one of my bras underwire just popped on it. Came out or it started poking me, so I took it out. So, like, that's like a no-brainer. And the underwear is underwear. And then the last and final deal that I really want. Like, there's, they have stuff on shoes and, like, alley pants and different things. But I don't need that stuff. Like, I would want it. It's cute. Like, there's sweaters and stuff that they have. But I don't need that. That's not, like, the deal of a lifetime. I don't need that. So, but these things, I'll have to pull my little money to get. And then the other thing was, I think it was a bralette. And I have this one shirt that I got, like, really cheap. And I want to wear it, but I can't wear it because I need a bralette. And then you get a $5 underwear or something. And for a total of $15. There again, another underwear and a bralette for $15. Like, really? Y'all see my struggle, right? Can y'all talk? You can't even talk me out of this. You can try to talk me out of it. Leave comments in the below if you see my struggle. Like, I must do this. So, I mean, I'm happy that I gave myself 20 I beat myself up a lot. But I was like, you know, that's why you gave yourself the $20 miscellaneous money. As long as you don't go out of your $20 miscellaneous money and cut somewhere else, you'll be fine. So that's the way I'm going to think of it. And if these are going to be struggles you're going to have to maybe or maybe not. So that's another thing that happened to me. Last thing that happened to me was I went to go get the liquor. Mind you guys, like when I was at ShopRite, I took out the cash with the cash register person. Took it out and I put it in the bag. I'm telling you, if you're not used to spending cash, take the debit card out of your purse and leave it in the car, put it on ice, do something. <laughs> like, don't leave it in the bag. Can I tell you, please, that I went into, and I was supposed to take the balance of what was left and go get the liquor. I went to the store, got the liquor, went to the register, and I handed the freaking lady my card. And it was not until she was done swiping it and was like, can you sign? That I was like, oh my God, I was supposed to use cash for this purchase. I was so pissed. <laughs> I was so pissed. Luckily, there was money in the in there. And I didn't like overdraft anything. There was no money in the account. But I was like, if I had seriously done like not left any money from last month in there and started like on you know every dollar budget like you take this mount this mount this mount out and that's it i'd have been in trouble like it would have bounced or some kind of stuff like that and i'd have been embarrassed but like for real try if you're new to this like i'm new to this whole using cash well if you're using cash i should say if you're using cash for like your miscellaneous your food and your gas like me hide the debit card somewhere because you will, like, automatically, out of habit, hand over your debit card and then be mad. So, I'm like, now I got to figure out a way to put the money back or, like, use the money next week or something like that. But that was, like, I'm, like, when I have days like this where I'm learning a lot of lessons or have days where I learn something different about myself, just going through this whole no-spend month, I will definitely do a daily vlog for you. Um, if nothing happens, like, say, Sunday tomorrow, then I won't even really worry about uploading anything i'm not gonna bore you with nothing days but today was a lot it was like a lot hitting me on this saturday like okay i have to make a decision about clothes then i have to make a decision about food then i have to make it like it really when you're trying to do a no spend month it really makes you think about what you're spending your money on and what is really necessary and what is really not necessary and if you're willing to cut budgets elsewhere to have what you want for the moment or what is the best option so that is my story for and this Saturday. Um and um if anything happens Sunday, I'll be back on Sunday or you'll see this video probably tomorrow. <sighs> All right guys, remember always be great, you have to be grateful. Have a wonderful blessed day. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying these types of videos. Okay, bye.